Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out 20 minutes till dawn. This is a crackhead action roguelike where you must survive 20 minutes against thousands of stronger and stronger enemies while also leveling yourself up and creating insane synergies. This game is a total blast. It is Vampire Survivors inspired, but it is the first Vampire Survivors inspired game that's actually fun to play and feels like its own game. So I leveled up, I get five upgrades to choose from, each with its own upgrade tree, Nova Dress style. So here I could have Bernie bullets, I could kill enemies with my vision, I have more max HP, faster fire rate, or Freezy bullets. Ooh. Right from the get go, I'm gonna try Freezy bullets. Kinda stun enemies in their spot. So this game feels like a beautiful balance in between Vampire Survivors and Nova Drift. I mean, you got the horde defense of Vampire Survivors, but a lot of cool stuff from Nova Drift, like the upgrade trees. You may notice if I buy an upgrade, I get to unlock two more upgrades. And if I buy either of those, then I get to buy the ultimate upgrade of that tree. And there's a lot of different cool synergies. Actually, I could continue on the freeze synergy. When an enemy is inflicted with freeze, they lose 25% of their max HP. Boss enemies lose 1% of their max HP. Seems like it could be good. Why not go down the freeze synergy synergy path? The shotgun, I've, there's a lot of bullets, a lot of freeze. Anyway, as I was saying, you have a lot more freedom in this game than you did in Vampire Survivors. You have to actually control where you aim the shots as opposed to the auto attack attacks of vampire survivors but it is the movements of vampire survivors which is a lot more manageable than the drifty nature of nova drift now i'll talk a lot more about those games later let's talk about this game itself first off i got another level up i get faster reload which is really good because i only have two shots in my clip so the majority of my time is spent reloading so if i can knock down that time it's a huge win for me you may notice there's also a new enemy type that has shown up one minute in. This is an enemy that deals explosive friendly fire and unfriendly fire to everything around it, which is a really cool thing for increasing player agency. If the players ever get overwhelmed, what they could just do is choose to target the exploding enemies and actually thin through the crowds. Gives you a bit of a comeback mechanic. Here I could go Ice Shard when shooting my last ammo, which happens often, shoot three additional Ice Shards that inflict Freeze. So now I'm just a Freeze machine. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze damn near everything, and when I freeze it, it gets damaged, and eventually there's more crazy synergy with it, so just keep shooting, keep freezing. That's that's what I like to see. So I just, I just love the player, uh, the agency this game gives, and the agency is nice because this game is considerably harder than Vampire Survivors. In the top left, you can see the HP. I got six hearts. It is unforgiving in that one contact with an enemy will cost you a full heart, and you don't get to heal it unless if you unlock the few upgrades in the game that give you HP back, such as Regeneration, the ultimate upgrade of the Vitality Tech Tree. But instead, I'm going to go for a power shot. It gives me plus 25% damage and some knockback. Seems wonderful. Freeze and knockback enemies. It's just get out of my face, the strategy. I'm sure I'll be able to do great things with that. But yeah, the, the damage in this, you, know, you have to be very careful that you just don't take any damage. There's no chip damage. It's all very impactful damage. So you're constantly alert while playing the game. This game is also respecting of the player in that there's no grindy, to, grindy nature where you just grind to get uh, power-ups that make you stronger. You only become better and better at the game as you play. The, you, there is a meta currency, but that is used to unlock different characters and different weapons, each with their own unique play style. So I like that a lot. Here I can move faster and fire more frequently. I think the move speed is the better part of this. I would like to be able to kite enemies. Movement in this game is not simple. You move a lot slower while you're firing. So the time during reload is when you want to get away. You only walk while firing, which makes you a sitting duck. But I'll tell you, the shotgun kind of negates that because, oh God, I, ugh. yeah, you were, you're a sitting duck while firing, but I do spend a lot of time reloading. So at least there's that. Hey, it's a, the first mini boss, three minutes in. A uh, freeze works um, a lot differently against a mini boss. Does not freeze the enemies as long, and I kind of wanted to do shatter. Enemies affected by freeze explode when kill and deal 
damage to nearby enemies equal to 25% of their max HP. You might be wondering, can this cause a chain reaction of a ton of frozen enemies all blowing up each other? Yes, and I hope I get to show it. Let's see if it happens. Oh, yeah, already. That was a nice little chain reaction, although that might have just been one of the friendly fire explosive enemies. I'm not so sure. Either way, that just seems wonderful. And now, oh, I already killed the mini boss. Nice. I was going to say, Freeze only does 1% of its max HP as opposed to 25% of the other enemies, but no matter. I want to take something called a Holy Shield. It protects me from damage once, regenerates in two minutes after breaking. I was going to talk about how fleeting HP is in this game. So this bubble effectively gives me more HP. Oh, increase fire rate and reload rate by 10% permanently every time I get hit. Nice. So yeah, whenever you kill any mini boss, the item drop from a chest is something unique, something you can't get from normal gameplay, which I think makes it feel more special. It's just another little thing it gets right. Another thing this game gets right is that after you upgrade, uh, you'll see something interesting happen. How about I take Vitality? If I get that up, I could get Regeneration, which is something I was talking about. Or I could Run and Gun. This increases my movement speed while I'm shooting, which is not that impactful, actually. So instead, I will take Max HP and hope I don't regret it. But I also kind of want to get the movement speed to try to unlock the ultimate upgrade, but what's done is done. I've made my bed. Thing is though, all these upgrades, I'll be seeing them again. So it's really, there isn't that high of an opportunity to cost on any upgrade. Oh, but I forgot to show you, you may or may not have noticed. I, I forget actually the circumstances. After you upgrade, the enemies are given a small boost away from you. So there's never a situation where you upgrade and then instantly take damage on the time you come back, which is the wonderful quality of life feature. Here, big shots kind of interesting. Higher bullet damage and higher size at the expense of fire rate, but my fire rate doesn't really matter when it comes to just two bullets because most of my time is spent reloading. What I care about is reload rate. So higher damage is always welcomed. And it seems like I'm shredding so far, but we're only a quarter of the way through the game. The game still has a lot more difficulty to get to. And I'm excited to see what comes after the 10 minute mark because I've never been that far. Uh, because the demo, what I've played for, only goes to 10 minutes. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what's new. Another upgrade. Oh, plus 15% damage and plus one piercing. And then they additionally pierce killed enemies. Wait, this is a huge increase for damage. And probably a lot better for freezing too. Crowds are just going to become mega thinned out now. Absolutely shredding. Look at this, look at this. The whole crowd goes away. Oh, and here we go. It's the first mini boss that's a legit challenge. The previous mini boss it was just basic. This guy's actually got an attack pattern. You gotta actually learn how to play around him. So he'll, what he'll do, he'll just charge at you uh, with incredible speed, but won't change the direction once he's started charging or once he's even lined up. So just get out of his way and you'll be okay. Now that's easier said than done because sometimes getting out of his way means running into other enemies. So here, yep, all right, got another level. Feeling good so far. Ooh, increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when I get hit. This most lasts for 15 seconds. Pretty good for the time that I'm facing a mini boss. I expect to get hit. This guy is not easy at all. And of course, he's got the ring circle of death. We're in Fortnite now, boys. Where are we dropping? Don't go outside the red ring, otherwise it's going to hurt, like a lot. Oh, and by the way, Freezy barely impacts him. I mean, the freeze only freezes him for a third of a second. And I think he can still dash while being frozen. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. I, I I don't know all the details. But I do know this build is actually going quite well. I think I can actually focus him down for a little bit. Maybe? Possibly? Well, the circle of death is up, but now there's another new enemy. The first enemy that shoots a slow-moving projectile. How nice. What I want to do is kind of shoot this guy while he's in the big crowd, but there we go. Dead. Love it. You know what? How about I go run and gun now to try to get to the ultimate upgrade of this tier? And he's dropped a pentagram. This is a risk and reward upgrade. I get more bullet damage and size and piercing at the expense of fire rate and max HP, which honestly is a fine trade-off. Although losing fire rate will go bad very quickly, I'm sure. 
This buffs my summons, which I have none. This gives me bullet bounce at the expense of max HP and damage. I'm gonna go Tome of Power here. And let me see how bad my fire rate is now. Oh, that's not that bad. I mean, I can get a couple upgrades and the fire rate will come right back, I'm sure. So, yeah, I am absolutely shredding when I am shooting. I love this. Just, there we go. The, uh, <laughs> the slow-moving projectile shooting enemies are actually quite hard to take down, it would seem. And for some reason, I just decided to Rambo through a crowd. Here, how about I go Magnetism? Or this gives me faster movement speed. I kind of like that, too. I don't know if you can be frozen and burning at the same time. So maybe I'll ignore that and just take Magnetism, which unlocks a whole new tree of fun stuff. Oh yeah, still shredding though. And my movement speed is fine. I just gotta be careful to not decrease my own movement speed at all. Also, you may have noticed there's a few random trees around the map. I don't know if they have any secret, but I do know if you bump into them, they are gonna just shoot you towards enemies. And I've, oh God. Yeah, yeah, they've got knockback. I've got to be careful. Taking HP, but you know what? I did get faster reload speed and movement speed, so maybe it's worth it. Oh, God, that one I just didn't see. That was, that was careless. I need to get regeneration? Badly. Actually, you know what? How about this? Increase the bullet speed and decrease its spread. Bullet speed, speed lets me actually shoot a bit further. It did feel like I was kind of short-ranged up until now. So at least I can snipe them from a distance. And lower spread is really nice. Let's me actually focus fire. Wait, did I get it? It, it actually looks like I bought something else. <laughs> I might have not gotten what I wanted because it looks like I'm firing. No, no, I did get what I want. Never mind. I thought I got the magic dagger for some reason, but you don't have to know what that means. Regardless, I don't know if I can relax though. I mean, again, I'm four hits away from losing. It is constant focus right now. I'm gonna go penetration here. Faster bullet speed, plus one piercing. Yeah, who doesn't love penetration? I'll, I'll do me a nice saw. I get a whole crowd killed whenever I shoot. Like, in any direction, it is surely dead. Ah, damn it. I am blowing it, though, when it comes to the magic shield, because how long has that been back for? Probably not very long. Now what? Oh, maybe more bullet speed and damage could be good? Yeah, that honestly seems really good. Yeah, how about this? I just move wherever I shoot, for better or for worse. I did take another damage, that's because I changed directions. Uh, there's so many enemies. I almost wouldn't mind a little more spread right now, but just a little bit. Ooh, faster reload clip, more max ammo. Oh, doubling my max ammo seems pretty sweet. I think I gotta do that, because now I can shoot four back-to-back -back shots. I may clear out a wider range of enemies. Oh, this, this is huge, actually. So much has improved right now. All I need is to just start healing. Or at least as long as I can dodge, I'm happy. I, I'm doing so much better against crowds now. Now I would actually take a higher fire rate because I do spend a larger amount of time firing. But you know what? How about I take higher bullet speed, automatically kill enemies below 20% HP. Seems pretty helpful for bosses. These, these enemies still aren't going down that easily, though. Uh, I mean, I guess they're kind of going down easily, but it's more like they keep swarming me, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so I, do I want fire rates? You know what? I think so. I think that will be a tangible improvement now. Yes, I feel improved, and I feel like I can actually start leveling now. Hallelujah. Now all I need is regen and my shield back and I'll feel safe. Oh, this will be amazing once I get the shield back. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it does unlock the ability to regen the holy shield in one minute's time, which is probably worth it. So this does nothing on its own, but I'm prepping for the future, for better or for worse. God, the, the entire crowd is gone. Just, just don't, Stay in one place. Like, keep mobile, move where you've shot, and all's gonna be good. Ooh, another max ammo, faster fire rate, faster bullet speed. Ooh, I can get behind that. And I don't know what I'm spending more time doing, waiting in between shots or reloading. 
Oh god, it is, this is very, very shaky. Actually, I guess it's me doing the shaky. I turned off screen shake. I'm just moving around erratically. What? Gun mastery? Holy crap! Okay, this is insane! I didn't even know I could get mastery. I didn't even look at all the details because I saw it's just positive everything. Why even get bogged down in the details when you can pog down in the details? Hey, made it past 10 minutes. I'm now officially past the point of the demo. And what is this? Oh, these are some bigger, bigger enemies. Look at them. They're huge. They're giants. I, I thought, I saw the first one like, okay, another mini boss time. But then they kept coming. So, what bring you, giant eye demon? Oh, this. I've had this before. This is cracked. Faster reload rate for every enemy killed. This bonus resets after reloading. So the fast or the more I kill, the faster I reload. So it can start working very well in my favor. Kill a bunch of enemies, reload quick quickly, and then kill a bunch more enemies and just keep the cycle going. And now that I got the bubble, I feel a lot safer too. So maybe I just want to wait for the enemies to stack, just have a bunch of them show up and then just smoke them. God damn, I'm doing damage by the hundreds? That's insane. I just want to get back to the, the pogging part of upgrading. I mean, that's the best part of Vampire Survivors. And I think they'll, that's kind of the best part of this game too, but at least this game has more agency outside of the upgrading. I th at least there's a lot to appreciate. Speaking of Vampire Survivors, I know you guys have told me a lot about how that game has kept getting updated and all that, but I think I kind of just don't care. Partially because this game is just strictly better, in my honest opinion. But also because it, I just prefer playing new games to doing old ones. But more on that in a second. What do I do now? I could call down lightning to strike nearby enemies for 22 damage every second while Holy Shield is active. It's not that good. Or I could get an additional projectile, larger spread at the expense of bullet damage. This one could actually get to be really good. So maybe I should go down this upgrade tree. And honestly, this is probably a huge net positive for me anyway. I actually enjoy the spread right now because I'm kind of already destroying everything. So I might as well destroy everything in a larger range. So I'm sure I lose out on a bit of damage, but that's okay. Ooh, bumped into a projectile. Don't like it. I was too busy focusing on whatever the hell this new enemy is. Okay, Vampire Survivors Talk, I'll have to pause for a second while I focus. This game, let me tell you right now, is hard. Uh, and I really appreciate that because the game also just wants you to improve at it. Oh, but the <laughs> the mini boss actually went down quite nicely. It's hard to play, especially while commentating. But here, I get higher bullish damage and size every time I heal. Can I please get the heal the upgrade? That's all I want. I oh, I could not escape from that to save my life. I would desperately like the ability to heal. I, I've had it unlocked forever, but the game just won't offer me the upgrade. I mean, even if I don't, I'm still doing okay. I'm not taking damage often, it's just sometimes I'm caught in a weird pickle. It's gonna be this time, though. I'm, well, I'm not sure, but I can't be that confident. Oh, I could at least make the Holy Shield come back more often. That's at least something. I'll take it. Bring me back the shield. Let me stop being nervous. If you ever want a challenge, like in this game or in any video game, just try uh, doing a running commentary while playing the game. Bonus points if every word is actually important. Like every word you say has weight and isn't just, well, repeating yourself or stating what you're doing in the moment. It's, it's just a multitask nightmare, let me tell you. And speaking of nightmare, I mean, I'm struggling right now. I think I'm running out of crazy damage. Or maybe I should just big dick it, go into the crowds. Yeah, 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 because I'll reload faster. Maybe I can snowball better in my favor. And actually, speaking of snowballing, I can freeze enemies? Yes, yes, this is way better. This is way, way better. Another level. Ooh, when shooting my last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bolts and circle around for 15% damage. It gets me closer to Fusilade, which I think will be very nice. Yeah, yeah, look at that ring of death. That's, that's impactful. It can freeze enemies in all directions. I think the biggest takeaway here is the freeze is insane. You may think it's the insane amount of bullets and crazy damage upgrades I'm getting. I think freeze is carrying this run. Uh, back to Vampire Survivors. I made too many damn videos of Vampire Survivors that just doesn't feel fresh anymore. Damn it. Okay. 
<laughs> to cut that short again. Um, fresh clip is tempting for 30% more damage, but I kind of want to go blazing speed because it's another thing that could get me to in the wind. Unless if I got it already. But this is better movement speed, which is good for me. Sure, I burn enemies and that negates freeze, but if I play it right, there won't be, be any nearby enemies. Oh, and actually, I saw it at the bottom. You can be frozen and on fire at the same time. You're just double fucked, which thank God for that. Now I don't have to worry about anti-synergy. And also, thank God I got my bubble back. I, Even though it's just effectively one more HP, it's the, the bonuses that come with it are life-changing. You may have noticed, though, I'm also constantly firing thanks to... What was that one? It's, it's just the one that decreases reload time for the more enemies you kill, and that's going beautifully for me. Few Salad, more bullets, more spread. Lose a little bit of damage, but that's fine. All that matters is the freezy nature. So let's send it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a super mega fan. That's what I'm talking about. All right, hopefully I can survive the final five minutes. It just... The uh, updates for Vampire Survivors, a lot of them are... Require you to do things that you've done already just to unlock the new thing. And I don't want to do things I will, um, I've done already. I want to do new things, like this new game. Shoot an additional bullet behind me. That way, I can't be teleported behind me. Nothing personal, kid. So that, that, that's nice. Always watch your backside. And, yeah, I mean, just new games are great. Plus, I, I really was feeling the lack of agency in that game. It, it just feels so nice being able to shoot where I want. And this... Oh, okay. Laser boss. These... This is like an amalgamation of eyes. Absolutely horrifying. Am I even hurting you? I don't see any damage numbers. What gives? What gives, actually? I am so confused. I feel like I gotta take down some of the other dudes. Maybe he's just around for a certain amount of time? And I've just gotta survive in his ring of pain while shooting the other enemies? I don't- I don't know. <gasps> no! No, 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 no! Oh, God. Oh, panic time. Focus. Focus, 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 focus. I mean, I might even go radio silent at this point, just so I don't blow it. No! I died! I blew it. I tried my best. Well, like I said, it's a tough game. I... <laughs> I did, it didn't look like I was dealing damage to him. I don't know if I was or I wasn't. Well, that's fine by me. I'm happy to run it back next time, maybe even with a new character as well. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're all excited for more crazy synergies in the future. I mean, I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.